Buy, buy. Man, this is great. The market will continue to grow forever. But what if it doesn't? Oh crap, I never thought of that. Sell, sell. And the stock market crashed, which led to economic downturn, which meant banks wouldn't lend anyone any money, which led to more economic downturn, which meant everyone stopped buying stuff, which led to more economic downturn. And hey, what if all the crops in the Great Plains were destroyed in a drought and then a big dust storm engulfed the area? That's right, more economic downturn. And in an effort to combat the crisis, America began imposing tariffs on foreign imports, which made the economic downturn go global, and the earth got really depressed. But one nation that was hit harder than most by the whole affair, Australia. The problem for Australia was that it relied heavily on its export industries, and in the current economic climate, no one was buying. To make things worse, Australia had introduced its own currency and pegged it onto the gold standard via the British pound. But then the UK started messing with its own peg on the gold standard. And if this is starting to sound confusing, then let me oversimplify it for you. Hey UK, looks like my car is broken down. Want to give me a tow? No problem, friend. I got you. More economic downturn. The economic downturn. To more economic downturn. To more economic downturn. More economic downturn. More economic downturn.